In the news today, there was an attack on two people. One of the things that caught my eye. This was another zombie-style attack. The news attempted to blame the attack on a drug called flak. See the video for more information. In a book that had been in storage at the Paranoid Times Artifact Society. We have been unable to find another copy and we are in the works of reprinting this book. However it has been time-consuming, as the original is in Latin. The book is called The Coming Apocalypse by Johan Yang Dated 1833 In the foreword this person we are unsure if this is a man or women begins to explain events that led up to an apocalyptic scale event. Here is the first page of the book please keep in mind this was written in 1833, the way this person saw things was much different than how we do today. So this opens up this book to some interruption we do welcome comments on this. The Coming Apocalypse Dear Reader, This is my life's work. I have seen the sacred stones of the prophetic ones, the octopus, a dragon, and a human caricature, scaly body, rudimentary wings. I have seen mountains and city of ash. Some believe I have went mad, others point to today's science. I have seen a future which I will describe in this work. One of loss and strange sights. I am unsure of the time it will begin. But the signs one should watch for are the events in this work. These are events that I have seen leading up the event. A staring point. In my first vision, people of the world and in holy places wonder if their ears deceive them, a strange sound or hum can be heard but not found. In my second vision, people of the world see rivers of blood and conflict people have been confused by the fight and lies of the father. In my third vision a technological snake wraps around Geneva, affecting the world's spin and motion, causing sickness and hidden secrets to work their way out of the Amazon. This angers the keepers of the spring of life. In my fourth and final vision a cannibalistic plague begins in a place called Jupiter, near the home of the everlasting springs of youth, home of the Prince Pounce de Leon. The keepers of the spring have become displeased with the people of the earth and hidden the secrets of life, and mixed it with death. The springs bring forth abominations. The work will detail all that I have seen. Be warned people of the future, the circle of life has stopped spinning. This is the end of page 1. We plan to provide translation as we have time, after the accident many of the members of the Paranoid Times Artifact Society were lost leaving only a trusted few to comb through the web of books and papers in the archive. Stay paranoid my friends. A very busy night for Martin County Sheriff's deputies. They continue to investigate this double homicide. Now investigators say that the victims are husband and wife. Their bodies were removed just before 5.30 this morning. Now Martin County Sheriff William Snyder says emergency dispatchers received a call around 9.20 Monday night from a man who said he had been stabbed by someone in his neighbor's yard. When a deputy arrived, she found a man on top of a homeowner and it appeared that he was trying to kill him. And he was biting the, uh, the victim on the face and actually removing pieces of his face with his teeth. The female deputy tried to get that man off of the victim but couldn't. She used a taser on him, but that didn't work either. Three other deputies arrived and a canine. They were able to get the, to subdue this man after a long struggle. Police say the suspect is Austin Moore. He is 23 years old and is in a hospital right now. The man, they say... Uh, the man they say was biting, died, that he bit, died at the scene. The victim's wife was also found dead inside of their home. The neighbor who was stabbed by Moore was taken to the hospital. He went into surgery last night. That's the very latest. We're live in Jupiter. I'm Ted White, WPBF 25 News.